the effect of music genres on abiotically stressed plant growth. Many studies have been found that show there's a causative effect of certain genres of music on the growth of plants for a variety of reasons, including increased production of mRNA leading to increased production of protein, vibrations in certain frequencies causing increased production of protein, protein being able to be converted into nitrogen for further nutrients, increased concentration of a variety of metabolites, and vibrations causing stomata to open and allowing the plant to absorb more nutrients. The studies have also found that music with a greater number of pure tones has a greater positive impact on plant growth. All of these studies were the basis for this experimentation. The purpose of this experiment was to determine which genre of music best helps nutrient-deprived plants to grow and thus best combats abiotic stress in plants. The prediction was that the music genre with the greatest number of pure tones, classical music in this case, would promote the growth and flourishment of the plants the most compared to other music genres or no music. In the experiment, we first started by setting up the plants. Soil, seeds, and fertilizer were placed into cups that were then labeled 1 through 10 and separated into four study groups, no music, classical music, rock music, and jazz music. The amount of fertilizer provided was less than the recommended amount for ryegrass in this quantity, which is how the abiotic stress was induced. Starting photos were taken. The plants were watered according to the established schedule shown. Every day, the plants were played their designated genre of music for three hours. We rotated when the plants were played music to ensure the, that sunlight differences would not significantly impact the results. In order to track progress, photos were taken every two days and measurements were taken every two days once germination began. After this three-week process was over, the plants were measured and photographed one last time. The only associated risk with the experiment was the handling of fertilizer. This was taken care of by ensuring proper safety coverings and handling materials were used. As it can be seen, the no music plants grew extremely rapidly. They also maintained their bright green and lush appearance until the end when they became frail and droopy. The classical music plants also grew very rapidly and had a bright green appearance. However, growth continued to be rapid towards the end and strength was maintained. The rock music plants did not grow very quickly and took longer to start growing. The overall well being of these plants was also poor. The jazz music plants had similar growth patterns to the rock music plants. They had poor strength, but the color was more vibrant than the plants of any other group. The quantitative data provided was collected every two days following germination. The data for each plant was averaged together to get the points provided. The qualitative analysis provided was collected by comparing the photos of the experiments plants to a baseline photo of healthy and normal ryegrass. Despite receiving the same amount of water and having the same amount of soil, one or two of the plants in the classical music group seemed to have water sitting in the cups, so this excess water could have affected the data and made the average lower due to these not growing as much. This data shows that there is most definitely a relationship between music and the growth and well-being of ryegrass. Certain genres benefited the growth while others diminished it. These results were fairly consistent of the results from studies referenced previously in terms of both the genres that benefited the most and the measurements themselves. The music genres with more pure tones, such as classical, helped most while the genres with fewer pure tones, like rock and jazz, helped a little, if at all. The descriptive analysis also shows that certain music genres benefit the well-being, strength, and color of plants. As previously stated, there were one or two classical music plants that did not absorb the water as well as others and seemed to be slightly overwatered, causing them to grow less. This most certainly affected the results. Thus, another study would need to be conducted to make accurate conclusions about the effects of classical music in comparison to no music. Larger study groups would also be needed to refine the results and make it clear whether classical music is beneficial or has no effect. It can ultimately be concluded that music genres most definitely have an effect on both the growth and well-being of plants. It can also be seen that the more pure tones a music genre has, the more beneficial it will be. These results provide a clear answer to the research question, which genre of music best helps to combat abiotic stress in plants?
Classical music is most beneficial out of the music genres tested. This is not to say that it is more beneficial than simply not playing music, however, as more studies would be needed to determine this. The results do not fully prove or disprove the hypothesis, which was that classical music would benefit growth and flourishment the most compared to other genres and no music. It is clear that this is true compared to other genres, but more studies would be needed to confirm this in comparison to no music. The fact that certain genres that are generally viewed as more relaxing to people also help to combat abiotic stress in plants shows that there may be a closer relation between plant functions and human brain functions than other studies have shown. Recent studies from multiple universities have found that there is a human brain-like structure in plants that controls germination and other aspects of seed growth. Further studies could be conducted to compare the reduction of stress that certain music genres have on abiotic stress in plants to stress in humans. This would allow for more conclusions about similarities between the two kingdoms in the realm of stress response and relaxation. These are a few studies that were used in the development of the experiment and in the gathering of background information. More studies that were used in the final few studies that were used. Finally, thank you to all those that assisted in the project, including my parents for purchasing the materials and helping to change the music genre playing while I was not able to.